What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you part three of the Mimic series. In part one we base coated and pretty much finished all the wood in on both models. In part two we brought the whiskey barrel to completion using a silver non-metallic metal on the metallic portions. Um, and in this part we are going to bring the treasure chest Mimic up to completion. We're going to be using a gold non-metallic metal on the metallic portions of this guy and then of course we're going to be bringing up his um, his face and his giant purple tongue that he has lashing out. Um, but before we do any of that, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I am putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. And now let's finish up the Mimic. And so as a base coat on the metallic portions of the Mimic, and again, like I was saying, I want to go over this with a gold. I have mixed a... Um, I've mixed black with a little orange ochre and sepia wash. And I want to put this on very thinly. Again, keeping the coats thin, um, really using the the black shading of the primer underneath um, to show through just a little bit to help add with shading. So I'm going to try one more um, coat of this, one more thin coat, and then I will see you when I'm done. All right, so this is three very thin layers of my NNM and MM and um, in certain spots I'm really trying to use that black primer underneath to add some extra shadow and shading now what I'm going to go do is go ahead and apply the first highlights so I'm going to be taking my orange ochre that's in here and I'm going to be diluting it with a little water. And I'm very thinly going to be putting on the first highlights. Um, so I want to focus mainly on the edges first.
Out of that previous mixture, I actually added a little orange fire. And very thinly, I'm gonna be putting this over the gold portions. Kind of give it that impression of that it's shining. I'm going to add some tones to this. I've, I've grabbed some orange fire, some sepia wash. I'm going to be going in on the darker portions of this and applying this glaze to try and add some tones to the gold. kind of help with the contrast a little bit. I'm going back to the pale yellow here just to kind of pick out some points to give it that, that gold shine.
I think we're ready to move on to the face. Because I'm using a heavy violet and I'm using thin coats. I really want that um, black base to show up underneath.
We're ready to move on to the eyes. If there's a couple coats of the um, orange fire on the eyes, I'm going to go in with a little bronze flesh tone. base coat of heavy brown And I also want to give his spikes up here a little hit of heavy brown as well. Base coating his base with my heavy gray. Base coating the base, heavy gray. Now we'll go ahead and let that dry. Now I can go back into the teeth. I'm mixing a little bone white in with my heavy brown.
Uh, now to the teeth, I'm gonna be going with a pure heavy bone, or uh, with a pure bone wipe. Head on down to the base, give them a little black wash. All right, back to our pure bone white. All right, we are pretty much ready with the treasure chest mimic here. The wash is dry, and I'm gonna take a stone wall gray. And I am going to be dry brushing his base with a stone wall gray, mounting him to his table stand, which you can see right beside him right there, and then we are going to uh, be ready to, to call him. I'm gonna start off on the edges. Not a lot of base to work with here, so this will only take a couple of minutes. You can see it's catching the the stone pretty nicely. Right there. is the dry brush and there is the model the treasure chest mimic I'm calling it the treasure chest mimic i think there's a you know, technical term for it also not sure if the real term for the previous one is the whiskey barrel mimic but that's just what i'm referring it that's just what i'm referring to it as but that is just about it. As always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.